Hi everyone, John here. I'm going to be showing you the new Echo Walk Lock. So I'm in my kitchen and we're gonna go ahead and get this ready. This is the new Echo Walk Lock from Amazon, just came out. It's only $30, it's really a great buy. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So once you get it taken out of the box, you're gonna see that it comes with a nice little, little cover on it. It comes with four AA battery. So we have the Echo Wall Clock right out of the box right now. You can see that it is white, not gray. Some of the pictures show that it looks gray. This is definitely a white clock with a black face. It's only 10 inch in diameter, and we'll go ahead and take a look at those measurements later. But you can see right now you've got an LED for the front. This is your notification LED. This will glow yellow for notifications, blue for uh, setup and timers, and uh, orange for setup. So we also have LEDs that go all the way around the side. These are 60 LEDs that will light up and denote multiple timers and seconds and minutes. So that's, I'll show you how that works in a little bit. So there is no cover around the outside or covering the face of the uh, clock. So you do have access to touch the minute and hour hands. So you don't want to do that because it, it might ruin the mechanics inside. So along the back, you'll see that you have it opened and it isn't very expensively made, but I, I like it, it looks nice, it looks sturdy. If you take it apart, you're gonna see that it comes with, and I installed these, these were in a box, but the Amazon Basic Batteries. The Amazon Basic Batteries are just as good to me as the Energizers and Duracells. I've been buying them in C and D and AAA and AA quantities for a while. I find they're really good. Anyway, I'm glad that they came with that. So I installed those, and you'll see on the back is a setup button, and we'll have to hold that for installation. I have it next to it, I have my Echo Dot, which I'll be using to uh, go ahead and get it set up. Very, very nice uh, clock here. So this clock is 10 inch in diameter, so I'll show you with this, that we are getting 10 inch in diameter around this clock and the interface is about nine inches. So I would recommend about 12 inches clearance when you're hanging it up. Okay, let's go ahead and set this up. Alexa, set up my Echo wall clock. Okay, press and hold the pairing button on the back of your Echo wall clock for up to 10 seconds until the light on the clock's face pulse is orange. Okay. Pair may take up to a minute and the light will turn blue once paired. You can also pair or unpair your clock in the Alexa app under the Bluetooth settings of your Echo device. Now it's flashing orange and yellow and green. As you can see, the Amazon Echo is spinning blue and it is trying to pair with the clock. So one great thing about this clock is it's, it automatically adjusts to the internet time. So it's going to adjust exactly to that, uh, gets that time from Amazon servers, and then it will adjust to daylight savings time um, exactly, so that's gonna be good. You don't ever have to change that. Okay, so the time is 12.46, almost 12.47, and you can see that it went to the correct time. So setup is done, and we see that we have the clock already set up, the light is off, we've done the pairing, so let's go ahead and try some timers. Software updates are done as well. Alexa, set timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, so you can see that it started ticking off. Each one is a second going down. Alexa, set timer for one minute. Second timer, one minute, starting now. Okay, and you see that this is the minute timer right there. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. Third timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, so now this is the 10 minute timer. This is the minute timer and the 30 second timer just went off. So now we see that it's flashing right now. Alexa, stop. Okay, now we're counting down the minute timer and this one, I don't know if you can see, but this one's a lot brighter than the others, denoting that that is your second timer going off, which is my 10 minute timer. And this is my minute timer just counting down now. So you can see it works really well. Alexa, cancel all timers. Canceling all your timers. So now that you can see that I canceled all the timers, they're all gone. The clock is now back to just telling time right now. 
One thing to note, this clock does not light up, so in the dark you will not be able to see this clock. There is no ambient light around the clock. Remember, it's battery operated, so you're not going to have that much power, so to conserve power they don't have any ambient light. This clock is also silent and non-ticking, so there are no second hands, it doesn't make any sound, so when it's just telling time, it's not going to tick. It's not going to tick when it's using the LEDs to go around, there's no sound here. so. It's purely a visual aid just for when you're doing lots of timers. So remember, you can also name your timers. You can go, Alexa, set a two minute cake timer. Cake timer. So setting up the timers are really neat. Primarily, I think this is gonna be used in the kitchen, but at least in our house, we're gonna have it in the kitchen. It's gonna be nice to, to be able to see all these visual displays. So overall, this is a great pick. For $30, you cannot go wrong. It's going to show multiple timers that you never had that functionality before. So you usually, unless you have the display um, echo, you are not going to have that uh, functionality to see your timers. So it's a, it's a nice way to casually look at the timers you have set, especially if you cook a lot. So I highly recommend this clock. I think it's a good pick for 2019. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. It really helps the channel out. Uh, thank you. Please give me any comments and I will be happy to answer them. Take care. Alexa set cake timer for three minutes. Cake timer, three minutes, starting now.